Hey guys, Justin here from Simplify Investing. I hope you guys are all having a great weekend. As you can tell from the title of this video, this will be our weekly watch list where we do break down the market and then give you guys the five plays that we are watching for the coming week. With that being said, if you are interested in joining our private team to get our course alerts and more, feel free to check out simplify-investing.com today. We would love to have you guys on board. The five plays this week, the first one being Microsoft, second one being Nvidia, third one being Apple, fourth one being Baba, and then the fifth one being Low. Stay tuned to see our detailed breakdown and hope you guys all have a green week. Enjoy. So getting things started, for those of you who have watched our previous videos, the first thing we are going to do is break down the market. What can we expect to see from the market within the coming week and what have we saw within the past week? So the proxy I'm going to be using today for doing this is going to be forward slash NQ. What this is, is going to be the NASDAQ futures. This actually opens up on Sunday at about five or yeah, five central standard time, six o'clock Eastern time. So this is something that will give you an idea of how the market is moving overnight. And it also tracks the market during the day. So it gives you guys an advantage to see how the market would open on Sunday evening if the market were to be open then. Obviously a lot of drastic changes happen overnight, but just to give you a good idea. So what I'm seeing, this is from the daily time frame perspective here, a clear defined, obviously higher high uptrend here. We did experience a pullback down to this 14,800 region. You can see the buyers coming in here on 819. Look at that volume trading 700,000 here versus a relative average of about 400,000. So almost two times the normal amount of volume indicating a strong amount of buying pressure on this bullish reversal side here off the downside low that we did see on 818. Nice volume coming in here, taking the lows all the way down here to 14,700 and pushing this to the upside. Now, as I mentioned last week, we tried, we had this form, this cup formation, a false breakout here, retest down here of this 15,000 region, strong bullish reversal off of this region. Now we will have that $15,000 support below. And the key forward upside here today will be that 15 or uh, in the coming week is that 15,172.50 resistance region where we saw two rejections here on 8.5 and then also here on 8.6. So again, watching this breakout here over 15,172.50 for upside continuation here this week with potential to see 15,200 and eventually 15,400 on this. But again, still trending sideways here ever since 7.23, basically a month of consolidation that we have been seeing here on the NASDAQ market. And this can be seen in the individual equities themselves as well. A lot of sideways consolidation trying to form a base formation for another run up here on the market currently. So again, 15,000 support below here in the week, uh, daily and weekly chart, and then up here resistance at 15,172.50. Watch these two levels here within the coming week for any potential uh, for upside or downside here on the NASDAQ market. First play of the week, as mentioned, going to be Microsoft, one that we've actually traded. We traded here on Friday with great success. Anytime you see a large cap, especially Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, all them pushing up over 2%, obviously some strength on it. Nice thing I like too, we didn't just get a strong price action day up 2.5%. We also got volume accompanying that. 40 point, basically 41 million shares traded versus a normal range around 20 million. So not 4X the normal amount of volume, but 2X the normal amount of volume, which is strong when you consider Microsoft being one of the biggest large cap stocks you could possibly trade. So what I liked here was we were watching this breakout over 300. We had this strong day here on 819, followed by a very strong day here on uh, 820, so on Friday. Now we are at all time highs. Anytime you are at all time highs, you do have to resort to intraday levels. And the level that we have to watch here is going to be 305.84. So that's an all time high here on Microsoft. Would be watching this for a breakout over 305.84 with 310 potential here this week. Great higher high gap move here. This gap will create a strong support here at 298. So if we do see a pullback here on Monday, expecting that 298 support region to provide us some buying opportunity here on Microsoft. The main thing I'm watching for a breakout trade is over 305, basically 306 here with volume for a 310 run up here. But as always, you have to combine this with volume. You can't just trade off of a single level. So I always watch volume on the underlying, personally watching Microsoft here over 306 for a continued upside move this week. Second play, one that's also very similar. We did see a nice bounce here on Nvidia on Friday up 5.14%. You can see some abnormal volume coming in here the past two days, trading about 80 uh, million here on 8.19, and then 8.20, we did trade about 66 million. Compared to the normal range around here at 30 million, so 
two, from two to 2.5 uh, times the normal amount of volume. Looking very strong here on NVIDIA. What I really want to see is this 208.75 resistance region where we did see a lot of sellers here on 7.7. So last month, heavy sells at this 208.75 region. We'll draw it as a visualization. So we have this level here tomorrow. We'll draw this 208.75 region. Now let's see if we can break out over this region in the coming week. We are pushing up a little like 30 cents here after hours on the bid ask on NVIDIA, but nothing following through here. Let's watch to see if we can break out over 208. We went for a 210 plus run here in the coming week on NVIDIA, but looking very strong here. We have been trending in this 193.25 and then 207 or 208 channel. Now we're trying to make this attempted breakout here on Monday. Key will be over 208.75 with volume for a continued upside move here on NVIDIA for the coming week. Third one, another large cap. It's going to be Apple. We're still in this consolidation base here on Apple, but liking these lows that were coming in here at 145, a lot of buyers taking these lows here intraday. Huge consolidation base, which for those that are swinging, consolidation base is a good opportunity for your risk to reward ratio. And that's what we are seeing currently on Apple. The strongest support down here at 144, giving you a good risk to reward ratio to the downside as well as to the upside. Now, 151.70 is what I'm watching for this potential cup move here. You can see we have this potential cup forming up to 151.70. I'm personally waiting on the breakout to trade this one myself. So I don't really see much. I don't like to trade anything in consolidation being a day trader, but consolidation is good for those that are swing trading and can present you good risk to reward opportunity if you are going to be range bound. What I personally like to do is wait on breakouts with uh, confirmation. For me, confirmation will be volume over 151.68 here. We have potential to see that 155 region this coming week, but again, have to wait on volume here for Apple. Fourth one, going to be a downside play here. BABA has continuously been hit hard against the market recently. Again, the NASDAQ pushing up 167 points, which is big on Friday, and these Chinese stocks, BABA especially, continuing to get hammered down here. Now, I'm watching this one below 155.50 here with potential to see this downside of 150. You can see this free fall that we started here off of 810. We had this earnings into a, basically a week of sideways consolidation, trying to figure out a direction at 200. Now we're getting these continued lower lows all the way down here. So much sell volume on this recently too. Again, 75 million compared to an average down here, about 25 million. So 3x the normal amount of volume. I will be watching for continuation on BABA to the downside with 150 potential if we do break down of 155.50, but very, very weak here lately. Can't seem to find any buyers. A lot of regulation uh, fears from BABA, the Chinese tech stocks, all the Chinese stocks, a lot of fear of regulation from the Chinese government causing this sell-off here. I'm personally watching this one below 155.50. If we do get volume again with 150 potential, if we go out here to the weekly chart too, look at this huge sell volume. The biggest sell volume we have seen on the weekly chart for BABA in the past three years. So obvious significance. If we do look from this daily chart here, I'm seeing the strongest support below at 129.77 region, lows here on this weekly chart at 1029, and then also here on 1231. <clears throat> but still very, very weak day, continuing this lower low move here. Baba looking very weak. I do think we do retest 140 at potential on the weekly, but 150 for sure if we can get strong sell volume below 155.50 on this one for the coming week. <clears throat> Last one. One that has had uh, relative strength here too. We'll go zoom in on the daily chart first. We had this earnings report here on 818. Obviously, anytime you have an earnings report, you can expect very strong volume. And that's what we did get on lows here. Now, what I like here is this continued higher high move here. We get this earnings, it's a power earnings gap move. Continued higher highs here on 819, then also up here on uh, 820. Higher highs off the close here on this one, not a higher high wick candle. But looking very strong here, we're trying to break out of this 208 region. Again, you can draw this level as a visualization so you can see these levels in real time when the market's moving. Now we have this level here. You can actually, let me draw this here. You can see the rejection here that we saw on 416, rejection here on 57, and then 511 here with a false breakout on 510. What I will be personally watching here on lows is going to be a breakout over that 209 region. I do think we can retest this all time high region at 215.22 if we can get strength over 209 within the coming week. But as always, you have to wait for that confirmation. You can't just trade it and hope the confirmation comes to you when you're uh, entering the trade. You wait for the confirmation and then trade that strategy, trade that plan once you do get that confirmation. 
For me, watching this one over 209 with volume for a continued upside move and continued peg move to the upside, which is a power earnings gap move off of this strong earnings report that they did just report. So again, watching this over 209 with 215 potential for the coming week. With that being said, that wraps up our weekly watches for the video this week. If you did find it and joyful, if you did enjoy the video, if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. And again, if you are interested in our private team where we do teach you how to trade, we provide you alerts, feel free to check out simplified-investing.com today. Hope you guys all have a great weekend and a great week and see you guys again next week for our weekly watches video. Thanks.